It's been a very difficult winter for a great many of us. But now the sun is starting to shine, the temperatures are rising, and it's time for us to get back out into nature and enjoy everything it's got to offer. But the question is, what car would you take to do that? What car would you take on your staycation, if you will? Well, I think I found the perfect one. It's this, the brand new Land Rover Defender 90. Make no mistake, over the last 12 to 18 months, we've done a lot with the new Land Rover Defender, mainly the 110. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this car right now, because we don't need to. But what I'm gonna do, before we go and take this car for a spin, let's just recap what makes the Defender a Defender. So, firstly, we've got circles in squares. Of course we do, typical Defender. We've got Defender across the front. Now, this car is an X-Dynamic, so it's got a few additional touches. So down the front, you've got this really lovely silver effect to the front bumper. It's a handsome looking thing. And as we move round to the side, it's here that you can really tell the 90 apart from the 110, mainly because we've got two doors here rather than four, which then means that the wheelbase is much shorter, which we'll actually find out if that's affected the driving dynamics a little bit later on. What determines this as an X-Dynamic? Well, you've got X-Dynamic down here and you've got body colored bumpers all the way around. The specification on this particular car looks epic. Around the rear, the 90 doesn't really look too dissimilar to the 110. Now, one thing that you will notice this being an X-Dynamic is you've again got the silver bumper down here. And as well as that, you've got these massive tow hooks here, which are really, really cool to see. And then of course, spare tire on the back. What would be a Defender without this on the back? It just adds to the look. Let's open the rear boot here with the typical swinging open tailgate. Now there is less space in the back of the 90 than there is in the 110. That's to be expected with such a, a much shorter wheelbase. However, you can push the seats down and create an awful lot more space. So they, these ones split 40, 20, 40. So you can actually drop the middle one on its own and get skis down the middle if you wanted to take your Defender across European, which we can't at the minute, obviously due to restrictions. However, but when we can, perfect. Now, for a staycation, you're not just gonna need comfort and space in your car, you're probably gonna need some accessories as well. And again, that's where the Defender 90 excels because you can more or less get anything you want. So we've got bike racks, we've got a pet pack, we've got a whole range of accessories which are available through Rybrook Land Rover. In fact, use the link in the description and the top of the screen to go and check those out. But anyway, I think it's now time for me to stop talking about this car and let's go and experience it to find out whether shortening the wheelbase and turning it into a 90 has affected this car's driving dynamics. Let's go. So the 90, how does it drive? Well, before I tell you how it drives, I have to say I've got a real soft spot for the new Defender. After not being too sure on it when it first came out and I saw it in Abasoc all that time ago, to now, it's really grown on me, absolutely grown on me. It's just got a certain character about it. It's got a real way of getting under your skin. And it's been a while since I've driven one. And I have to say that this 90 has immediately reignited that. I think it's brilliant. So first thing you notice is the driving position. The driving position in this is just superb. You sit really high up, great view out. You can see over the bonnet so you know exactly where the wheels are. No, make, make no mistake, this is a big car. Uh, but the great driving position makes it really easy to place on the road. But the real question is, has this now being a 90, a two-door, shorter wheelbase, has it changed how this car drives? And I think it has, to be honest. Only slightly though, only slightly. So let me explain. It's still very comfortable across bumps. This car is fitted with the biggest wheels you can get on a Defender. So this is 
theoretically the most uncomfortable this car will ever be. But uncomfortable isn't a kind word to use for it because it's more than comfortable enough. It's actually incredibly comfortable. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's slightly more on its toes. It feels like it's slightly sharper and slightly better at going around corners, but this isn't a car that you attack corners in, not even slightly. This is a perfect car for a staycation. In terms of engines, this car has got the D250 diesel engine, which, to be honest, has got all the poke you're ever going to need. There are a couple of petrols available, and now a big V8 coming. Oh yes, there's going to be a V8 Defender. Cannot wait to get behind the wheel of one of those. The interior of this Defender is more or less exactly the same as it is on the 110. So it blends ruggedness with technology and modernism. So you've got the digital display directly in front of me. We've got the new Pivi Pro entertainment system in here, which is brilliant, real, real step on. And another thing that's really cool about the 90 is this seat here. Now this obviously looks like an armrest in this car, but you put it up and you've got three abreast in the front. That's so cool and harks back to the original Defender. So this car, I think, is the perfect blend of modernism and harking back to the original. I love it. I think it's epic. So back to the statement that I made right at the very start of this video. Is this the perfect staycation car? Well, I would say yes it is. I would happily drive this car to Wales, to a lovely beach, to go camping in it. You've got all the accessories that you can get. It feels such a well-sorted car and a car that can just manage anything that you would throw at it. And then if you wanted to go across, I don't know, a boggy field, some sand dunes, whatever you wanted to do, you've got all of your terrain response. You're in possibly the most capable off-roader in the world. So, I mean, it's brilliant. I'm absolutely sold on it. Now, there are different Defender 90s available, and actually, Jack has already filmed the Defender 90 hardtop. So if you'd like to go and see that video, use the link in the top of the screen. Likewise, if you'd like to see our drive video on the Defender 110 or our Defender off-road video, please use the link in the description to our Land Rover playlist. Go and check out the videos on there. Another thing that I really love about this particular Defender 90 is we've got the sliding fabric roof up here. Oh, it's so lovely. I don't know what it is about a sliding fabric roof that just, I don't know, just adds a real personality to this car. And I have to say, personality is something that this has in bucket loads. So there we go then. The Land Rover Defender 90. The perfect car for the staycation this summer. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you'd like any more details on the Land Rover Defender or any Land Rover for that matter, or any of our brand new offers on Land Rovers, please use the link in the top of the screen or in the description of this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please drop this video a like and subscribe to Rybrook TV for plenty more content to come. Thank you.